Hello friends, this video on structural organization of animals part 31 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have discussed the digestive system, let us talk about the circulatory system of cockroach. So now we know how the digestion of food materials take place inside a cockroach. What about blood circulation? As I mentioned in one of the previous slides, they, that for all the members of Arthropoda, the circulatory system is open type. That means blood is not confined to tube-like structures called vessels. So here blood is scattered throughout the body. So how that circulation happens? How each and every part of the body gets blood? So it has open circulatory system poorly developed blood vessels. So as I said, the blood vessels are not distinct and appropriate. Organs located in hemocele. So what is hemocele? The word hemo comes from blood and the word seal comes from coelom, which also means body cavity. So this means that blood is present in the body cavity. In all the empty spaces inside our body, blood is present. So that is why it is known as hemocele. Now what constitutes the circulatory system? So what are the different parts which together form the circulatory system? A tubular heart, anterior outer, and sinuses. So these are the three major parts which together form the circulatory system in cockroach. Now when I talk about tubular heart, heart is always the pumping organ which will pump blood to different parts of the body. So here also heart is a pumping organ. Anterior outer it is a blood vessel. As I said blood it is not that blood vessels are completely absent but they are not very well developed as a result blood is present in the body cavity. Sinuses are again ill-defined blood spaces so there are some spaces inside the body where blood is present. So we cannot call them a blood vessel. We we just cannot. We also need to consider them into circulatory system. So we have given a name sinus. So sinus are nothing but those ill-defined blood spaces. So where you have blood, where the spaces inside the body where you see blood is present. So those spaces are sinuses. So let us quickly talk about each of them. First, let us talk about heart. Heart is an elongated muscular tube. So heart is basically an elongated muscular tube. So here you can see this. This tube like structure which you see, this is nothing but the heart. And that is why we say that it has a tubular heart. It is located along mid dorsal line of thorax and abdomen. So this part is thorax, this part is abdomen. So mid of thorax and abdomen, in fact mid dorsal line. So you will be able to locate the heart only from the dorsal side, not from the ventral side. It is the pumping organ as I already said. Heart is always the pumping organ which helps to pump blood to different parts. It is differentiated into funnel shaped chambers with pores on either side called ostea. So here in this picture you can see this is your heart and here you can see some funnel shaped chambers. Now each of these funnel shaped chambers will have pores on either sides and these pores are known as ostea. Now we will see what is the role of ostea, why do they have these funnel shaped chambers, we will see all that. The next part is anterior outer. It is located at the posterior end of heart. So posterior end of heart is closed. So if you see here, this is the posterior end of heart and it is closed. So it, it is not connected to any other organ here. Anterior move end moves forwards as anterior outer. If you look at the anterior end, it moves forwards as the anterior outer. So we will have a look at that again in little more detail in the next slide when we talk about the functions. 
and the third part is the sinuses so what are sinuses those empty spaces which are filled with blood so hemocele is divided into three sinuses by two partitions so if you talk about hemocele is nothing but the entire body cavity which is filled with blood so that entire cavity is divided into three sinuses or three regions pericardial sinus perivisceral sinus and perineural sinus so these are the three sinuses which are divided by two partitions so now quickly let us see let us quickly see where are these sinuses located now let us try to understand this with this rough diagram let us suppose this is your cockroach so from a side view so how is the heart located so basically your heart is somewhere like this I and mean, this is just a rough diagram to explain you where and how things are located so something like this so this is your heart right so here you have these funnel shaped chambers so you have these funnel shaped chambers with holes so what are these holes these holes are known as ostia correct so now to, this is the posterior end so at the posterior end this is closed the heart is closed but at the anterior end outer is present which is also known as dorsal outer or anterior outer whatever you call it so this is how the heart uh, this is how the cockroach circulatory system looks like if you look at it sideways now the, the three sinuses which we are, we are talking about are the three part of the body cavity so there the first part is pericardial sinus so this portion is known as pericardial sinus So pericardial sinus is that part of the hemocele which contains the heart and that is why it is known as pericardial. The word cardial is related to heart. So that is your pericardial sinus. So this portion consists of the heart. So basically it contains this. Okay. Then the next is perivisceral sinus. So where is the perivisceral sinus? It is located below the heart. So somewhere here. So here you have some partition and then below that you have the perivisceral sinus. So as I said, these sinuses are separated from each other by partitions. So what separates pericardial sinus from perivisceral sinus? So pericardial and perivisceral sinus are separated from each other by dorsal diaphragm. So basically you can say that this red line is nothing but the dorsal diaphragm. So what do the perivisceral sinus consist of? It contains the gut that is the digestive tract so you have the heart and then below that you have the digestive tract and below that you have the ventral nerve cord so these are the three important things which you have running throughout the body of the cockroach so that part of the uh, sinus which contains heart is pericardial sinus the next part of the cavity which contains the digestive tract that is the perivisceral sinus and the bottom most part let us suppose this is the bottom most part so this bottom most part is known as perineural sinus so perineural sinus is the one which contains the nerve cord so how is the perivisceral and perineural sinus separated from each other they are separated by ventral diaphragm so now you understood why I considered the sideways picture that's because if you look at it from sideways the towards the dorsal side is present the pericardial sinus then next is perivisceral and then again towards the ventral side is present the perineural sinus. So these are the three uh, parts of the hemocell which consists of blood.
correct okay so now again one more thing which you see so ostia you understood these are the pores which are present here now again here you can see some muscular structures and these muscular structures are nothing but allery muscles so what do they do the contraction and expansion of these muscles help the blood to move from one region to another region so we will look at that in the next slide so for now you understood what are the three parts of the circulatory system in cockroach first is heart which is a tube like structure and is the pumping organ next is the out next is the outer or the dorsal outer whatever you call it which is present at the anterior end of the heart and the third one is sinuses which are the blood filled spaces or body cavities so they are again divided into three types pericardial perivisceral and perineural so now we are going to talk about the process of circulation so now let us look at the process of circulation so how blood flows from one region to another region so now heart being the pumping organ let us start from heart now heart pumps blood into the anterior outer right this is the heart it pumps blood to the anterior end that is towards the anterior outer from anterior outer the blood moves into the perineural sinus so if you look at this picture sideways you will be able to see it goes to the perineural that is the bottom most part of the cavity from perineural sinus it will go to the middle sinus that is the perivisceral sinus and from the perivisceral sinus it will go to the pericardial sinus and from the pericardial sinus pericardial sinus is that sinus which contains the heart so how the blood will get into the heart it will get into the heart by the relaxation of allery muscles just now i spoke about allery muscles right now due to the relaxation of the allery muscles the pores are present ostia so through them the blood will get into the heart again from heart it will be pumped pumped to the outer from outer it will go to the perineural sinus from there it will come to the perivisceral sinus since right so from perivisceral sinus it will get into the pericardial sinus now what happens is due to the contraction as i said due to the contraction and uh, of the allery muscles the pericardial septum is pulled down so now this is th this is how it happens let us suppose let us suppose this is the cockroach this is the tubular heart and this is the outer this is pericardial sinus this is perivisceral sinus and this is perineural sinus and these are the partitions which separate each of them from the other so what happens blood flows from the heart to the outer from outer it gets into the perineural sinus from perineural sinus in fact from outer it gets into the sinus of head and it comes into the perineural sinus from perineural sinus it will get into the perivisceral sinus now once it is into the perivisceral sinus now the contraction and expansion of allery muscles play a role now once blood has entered into the perivisceral sinus on contraction of the allery muscles the pericardial septum is pulled up so the partition between pericardial and perivisceral septum that will start moving up now as a result blood will start moving right so the blood will get into the pericardial septum now once the uh, uh, blood gets into the pericardial sinus then the allery muscles will start relaxing and again the blood will start coming into the heart now blood will enter into the heart and then it will again go to outer so these process will keep on continuing 
so this is how blood circulation takes place in case of a cockroach now if you talk about uh, the location of the heart heart is located in 13 chambers in case of a cockroach out of those 13 chambers three chambers are located in thorax and the remaining 10 chambers in abdomen so basically we can say that a cockroach heart is located in 13 chambers, 3 in thorax, whereas the remaining 10 chambers in abdomen. So these 3 chambers in thorax and the remaining are all in the abdomen. Right? So this was all about the circulatory system of... Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.